doesn't just keep doing what he's doing. The Saints are running it back. That is right, the Saints are running it back with the same roster that led them to a 7-10 and season. I don't know. What the fuck, y'all? God damn! God damn! God damn! What? Fuck! 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 Man, this is disappointing. In case you don't know, the Saints are sticking with the offensive coordinator Pete Carmichael as their offensive coordinator. They're expecting him to come back, call plays, and this is very, what's the word, stupid and annoying. I'm sure Pete Carmichael does a lot of good things well. Like, for example, I think near the end of the year, what he did on the opening drives, the scripted plays and stuff like that was good. I think he does a good job of maybe doing analytics or something like that or helping out the offense but as a play caller at least from this past season he sucked now you could go back and say well he was a play caller i think in 2011 and 2012 or something like that but he also had an extra offensive coordinator and drew Brees, who basically makes any receiver look good and make, could make any play call look good and when you have a hall of fame quarterback in his prime that sure as hell helps, especially, you know, if your play call might not be the right one. So the Saints are running it back. For me personally, I was cool with Dennis Allen staying the head coach, giving him one more season as long as they got a new offensive coordinator and kind of revamped the offense. And they didn't do that. Dennis Allen is basically putting his job on the line and he's relying on Pete Carmichael to do his job effectively and improve and I don't know I could be wrong I just don't see that happening I mean to be fair they didn't have Michael Thomas but then again neither did Sean Payton when he was calling plays for two straight seasons they didn't have a physical pass catcher quarterback Andy Dalton I I don't know it just seemed like Pete Carmichael didn't know how to use Alvin Kamara Taysom Hill didn't want to get them the ball in the red zone and it felt like the only time he really utilized Alvin Kamara the right way was the Raiders game. And we saw what Alvin Kamara could do. I don't think Alvin Kamara has lost a step. I th just think he was being used wrong. Give him runs to the outside. Give it, Get him on screens, options routes, Texas routes. Like those plays, especially in the red zone, those are plays that are going to be money. And we never saw Pete Carmichael call them. Second down and 10 runs. Apparently he doesn't know that you can throw the ball in second down. And it just, honestly, it just felt like Pete Carmichael was trying to make things more complicated than they needed to. Yes, I get running the football. You don't have a franchise quarterback. You don't have the quarterback of your future. So you want to rely on the run. Okay, well then how come in the offseason, all your focus was bringing back Thomas, signing Jarvis Landry, drafting Chris Olave? What you should have been doing is adding depth to the running back room, maybe signing an offensive lineman. If you wanted to be a running team, why didn't you re-sign Teron Armstead? These are things that just seem stupid. They went into the season expecting to be a heavy passing team, a lot of play action. Jimmy Winston gets hurt. They put Andy Dalton in. And Andy Dalton kind of runs like the 2020-2019 Drew Brees offense with the Saints. 15 play drives and stuff like that. And they feel satisfied with that. They turn into a running team, but they don't have the pieces to be a running team. And then that was that. I believe the first half of the season, the offense was actually like top 10 in a lot of categories. And then in the second half of the season, it just, the Saints could not even score over 20. And man, it was just frustrating. Like the 49ers game, like not giving the ball to Taysom Hill from the one yard line or at least trying to run the ball. I don't know. Not having your best player pass catchers in on certain plays like the Tampa Bay game when Andy Dalton took the sack you have Kirk Merritt in you have Marquez Callaway in on a slant instead of just running the ball in third and one a lot of these things are on Pete Carmichael the packages the players he's using in these packages are on him the way the offensive approach is on him and that's why a lot of people wanted him gone they wanted a new offense the way they're using Rashid Shahid and Chris Olave is how they were using Michael Thomas like those guys are not built to run over the middle, be physical, and catch contested catches. They're built to go deep, make big plays, run to the outside. And obviously, you know, the Saints are going to miss having a contested pass catcher over the middle, be physical, because Michael Thomas is most likely on his way out. So 
so now you have two guys with four two four three speed and you're having them run physical over the middle routes like no p carmichael if they want to do something this offseason if he wants to prove to everyone that this last season was a fluke he didn't have the right players they need to get a quarterback and a power running back and then they also need a physical pass catcher rather those are all addressed in the draft free agency a trade whatever they need to do they need to get a player in all three of those categories they need to get a good quarterback or at least try to get someone who could fit their scheme at quarterback maybe somehow they try to end up with Derek Carr because Dennis Allen I believe drafted him so maybe Derek Carr is someone they look into obviously the draft we don't know what pick or if Sean Payton goes where the Saints are going to end up so quarterback, I think, is the biggest question. And quarterback, obviously, you know, you get a good quarterback that hides all the offensive problems. If you have a per- player like Patrick Mahomes or Justin Herbert, and they throw an interception, but you still win the game, no one's talking about the interception. But with the Saints, you know, Andy Dalton, the room for a mistake is so slim. You throw an interception or the team fumbles or you punt once, fans are going to remember the mistakes because we're losing. We are down bad, basically. We aren't winning. We're not a winning team. Getting a good quarterback erases all of that. It erases all the bad. Quarterback, quarterback, quarterback is the number one priority. Physical power running back. And then you have to get a physical pass catcher. The Saints don't have one. I believe the only receivers they have currently like under contract. Chris Olave, Rashid Shaheed, Traquan Smith. And I guess Michael Thomas technically, but he's still expected to be cut. Um... Marquez Callaway and Deontay Hardy are free agents. I believe Kirk Merritt was signed. He's on the roster, I believe. But outside of that, man, they, they got to they gotta get a physical pass catcher in there. And as for Dennis Allen and Mickey Loomis, I don't know if this is a case where Pete Carmichael is their friend and they don't want to fire him or cut him. I think they believe Pete Carmichael does some things well. I think he does some things well. But I think without having Drew Brees or Sean Payton, I don't think he's as good as an offensive coordinator as maybe Loomis or Dennis Allen believe they are. Dennis Allen, it's the memes everywhere. Keep doing what you're doing. And that's basically what Dennis Allen is want to, wants his team to be. Keep doing exactly what you are doing. And by running it back, the Saints are probably going to be another mediocre team next season, 7 maybe eight wins the only way they don't end up seven eight wins and they end up in the playoffs is if they hit a really good draft they have a really good quarterback it just and they you know obviously don't have the injury bug again but it's just very frustrating when you're expecting change you want to see change because the offense sucks it couldn't score over 20 in the second half of the season And then here we are running it back with the same mediocre team. And with that, I would really expect the Saints to bring back Andy Dalton, re-sign him. And while he wasn't bad, I just feel like the Saints should go a different route, get a different veteran quarterback, draft someone. But that's just how it is right now. The Saints are sticking with it. They're running it back, unfortunately, running it back to mediocrity.